Hi, I'm Archer Daniel, Year 12 Product Design Technology. I'm making a table designed for vinyl storage and to house record player units, so like stereos and CD players. I like the way vinyls look, they're kind of little pieces of art, they're cool. So yeah, I just thought like a place that can store them and a place that can display them. In my folio work, I've done like extensive research on existing products and like product concepts, you know, like developing new designs. Like kind of, you base them off other designs that you've seen. So you well, go to the internet, I've searched up record player storages and like modern designs, retro designs, lots of from different generations. And yeah, then you start developing concepts off those designs. My material selection was kind of based on kind of really good quality woods, sturdy, nice looking, clean, but also trying to incorporate metals and other kind of metallic objects that will kind of give off a industrial but modern look. With some of my design concepts referring to, they were kind of retro. So trying to build it all into one nice, clean looking product that I feel represents my style. It's gonna have a drop box below that will house the vinyl units. And the top part is gonna be used for, you can pretty much put anything up there, but the record player is gonna be stored up there. And my metal incorporation is this big metal leg that's kind of, it's in an arch. I just like that kind of going from something very small, something that you can't even imagine existing and slowly building it up into design concepts, you know, using like the online design programs and stuff, that was very fun. And kind of visualizing what it's gonna look like to then building it and just seeing it. Cause it's kind of like seeing a bit of you be built up and come to life essentially. In the developing stage, you have to go through a bit of a trials and error where you'll get help from the teacher. Like he'll give you feedback on stuff. He'll say that stuff that isn't working and stuff that will work. So the main problem with mine is that its structural integrity wasn't good enough to start with because originally mine was designed to have one big gap in the middle where the vinyls would sit. But after realizing that it would simply just collapse in on itself, we decided to make it different, make the entire table one big piece and pretty much build the storage below it as its own separate entity. It's a very safe space for letting ideas go around and stuff like you're constantly talking with your classmates, with your teachers, like running ideas with them, oh, how does this look? Oh, what do you think of this? And they'll give you feedback, which is good. It's very helpful. You learn lots of new skills, ones that you wouldn't previously had. The teachers, they'll help you out. They'll give you the knowledge to operate this good machinery. It's all very high quality. It's all very safe. You, you've got to go through the procedures of wearing goggles and different earphones and stuff. But once you know how to use the tool, you can pretty much just start going on your own program and building your materials and building your products. I feel like the year 12, the, the final 3-4 version of it is at its best, where you can create any idea you want as long as it's in the bounds of stuff that can be provided by the school. But definitely, definitely one of the most fun subjects.